Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We were going to have a vlog pertaining tips and guide on buying your uh, P secondhand PSP this year of 2019. Alright, so without further ado, uh, let me explain just a little bit. Okay, this is my second, uh, second time and the first experience was not really a good one. So, binenta ko yon ulit. Okay, sinabi ko naman ng issue, tinanggap naman niya. So, okay lang yon. So, this time, yung pagbili ko nito, nagkaroon ako ng mga uh, further gastusin. <laughs> Kasi, may mga sira siya na hindi ko na-check with the seller. Siyempre, kapag nag-handover na kayo, kapag nag-meet na kayo and handover, hindi naman pwedeng mag-stay siya ng tatlong oras sa harap niyo para i-check mo all the time. Nakakahiya rin. So, you need to take the risk. So, without further ado, this is the first tip. Seller background. So I bought this online, Facebook guys, to be, um, to be exact. So Facebook, I tried to check. Um, marami ba siyang friends? So you, kailang yung check kung marami siyang friends sa Facebook, you know, um, to check kung hindi ba dami account. Kasi kung dami yon, malamang ng mamodu. So wag kayong promosid. And then may kita niyo naman dun ng itsura ng seller kung mapagkakatwala nde. Okay, go. Alright, so that's the second tip. Ah, sorry, the first tip. <laughs> so let's go to the second tip. Uh, kailangan yung malaman kung jailbreak na ba long unit. Bakit? Kasi this is for game downloads um, purposes. Okay, kailangan yung kapag magda-download kayo ng games, kailangan by internet na lang. Ha? Kasi um, hindi na practical ngayon gumamit nito. Hmm? hindi na yan practical it's, this is battery consuming iinit ang PSP nyo and lalot ganito na nagpipreserve na lang tayo ng PSP, hindi mabuting masisira para dito, okay? baka hindi magtagal sa inyo so that's the second tip, let's go to the third tip ano yung third tip natin ayun yung casing guys, uh, napakaswerte ko sa PSP na to bakit I was able to still get the original casing of this one that's why kaya kahit Ayan, medyo open na siya dito. Ayan, ayan. Bibilang ko na lang siya ng crystal, ano, ano, crystal um, protector para na-hold siya. Pero kahit, guys, tigan nyo, kahit, kahit, wala na, kahit sira na lang lock niya dyan, meron pa naman dito. Um, okay, hindi ko pa rin pinapalitan. Bakit gusto ko ma-preserve yung original casing. Napakaswerte ko sa PSP na ito kasi original casing pa yung nakakabit. No? Kasi pag nakabili kayo ng PSP, guys, na napaka-smooth pa na parang hindi nagal. Guys, hindi na original ng cover nun. So, depende sa inyo, ano, kung saan nyo feel. But, pero ako, guys, as a collector, gusto ko ng, gusto ko lang something classic. <laughs> so, I, uh, okay talaga ako sa ganito. So, ano pa nung kailangan yung i-check sa casing? Malalaman nyo kung abuse na ng item, di ba? Okay, kung gusto nyo nung pareha ng trip ko na ganito, na uh, buy at your own risk. Anyway, buying a second-hand PSP is really a buying at your own risk from the beginning. So, yun eh. So, uh, let's go to the fourth tip. Uh, yun yung ano, buttons. Power button, check these buttons here. Um, the crisp condition na tinatawag natin. Okay, medyo malulutong pa. Lalo nung analog guys, kailangan smooth yan ah. Kapag ginanto nyo, dapat walang sabit dyan ah. Smooth condition guys. Hindi nyo gugusto yung bumili ng PSP na serato. Hindi nyo may enjoy guys. Alright. Pag naglalaro ako ng Tekken, um, ito lang yung gamit ko. A very rare na gamit yung ito. Pero guys, most of the games, yung mga best games ng PSP, dapat ano, gumagamit kayo ng analog. So, really check for this one, okay? And then, let's go to uh, the fifth at here. The UMD. Bonus lang to guys. Actually, um, getting to know na ang UMD nyo ay gumagana mean, means only one thing. Uh, nasa good condition pa talaga ng PSP nyo kapag ganun. Meaning, naalagaan siya. Kasi usually guys, sa mga PSP, PSP ngayon, lalo in this year of 2019, um, marami na talagang sira-sira dyan. Okay? So, that's a sad fact. So, yeah. Let's go to the next tip. The battery life and the charger. Guys, speaking of charger, 
ito yung charger na kailangan yung magkaroon. Ha? I, I, I don't care kung class A na charger lang ang magkakaroon kayo. I don't care. It's okay kahit, kahit class A na PSP charger lang yan. Ang importante is dapat charger for the PSP lang siya. May PSP na nakabasa dyan. Long battery. Uh, normally, um, 3 to 4 hours. Gameplay. Depending on the game. And then guys, one thing also is yung audio speaker. Siyempre, not all the time. Most of the time, hindi, hindi nyo gugusto yung mag-earphone. Depende sa inyo. Pero, um, nung binili ko to, hindi ko na-check to. Pinahinaan niya lang yung speaker. So, hindi na, hindi ko nalaman. Basag pala lang yung speaker niya. Uh, the, uh, that it needs uh, replacement. So, naisahan niya ako to. Napakasalbay. <laughs> So last tip guys, actually this is the eighth tip. Um, it's an overall question to the seller. Wala na ba akong dapat ibang malaman bukod sa mga na-mention natin? Pag sinabi niyang wala, okay go. Pag sinabi niyang meron, well, <laughs> tell me. Ganun. So guys, uh, nung nabili ko to, I had couple issues. And nung masaklap is, which is given. Hindi na nagre-respond nung seller. Um, nag-ring na lang nung phone niya, mini-message ko siya, hindi siya nagre-reply. Ang tigas ng muka. <laughs> Which is given, guys. Buying a second-hand PSP is a buy at your own risk. So, yun. Um, 3,500 lung binente nyo ito sa akin. Tinawaran ko hanggang 2,500, umokay siya. And then, nung nakuha ko na ng PSP, nung linaro siya ng waifu ko, in just a matter of 30 minute span, nag-shut off ran ran randomly nung P PSP na to. Which is really, alam yun, um weird. You know that something's wrong. Especially na kaka-charge kaka ko lang nun, nung pinalaro ko sa PSP sa waifu ko. Kaya lang, hindi ko yun napansin. Or, hindi ko, sorry, hindi ko yun binigyang pansin kaagad. Bakit? Kasi busy ako nung time na yun. So, on the second night and third night, nag-random shot off na siya. But, hindi ko na siya makontak. Kaya, masakla. Ganun. So, um, I ended up uh, having a having more gastos of 1,800. That's the labor for the repairman, the battery, that I need to replace the charger has to be for PSP intended only okay, not DVD local yung seller na yun. and then the power key kasi kailangan pag ginanyan mo may ilaw agad nung power led indicator niya and then nung speaker na pinalitan namin kasi basag Yon. So that's a total of 1,800. So, and guys, I hope na may natutunan kayo. Depende na sa inyo kung di nyo susundin. <laughs> so, thank you so much. And, yeah, good luck buying your own PSP. Bye.